What if you no longer had to fear another gout attack? This video will help you with that. We'll tell you how to combat gout using familiar remedies and recipes used around the world. No unnecessary information. Just proven practical advice. You'll learn why gout occurs, how to recognize its attack, how foods help with gout, how to use sunflower seeds, nettles, and cherries. What does Dr. Josh Axe advise? How do the Chinese treat gout? And how to dissolve uric acid crystals? The causes of gout. All the symptoms of this disease arise from the accumulation of uric acid in the joints. This byproduct of purine rich food digestion should normally be excreted from the body by the kidneys. The amount that remains in the blood of a healthy person cannot harm the joints and does not lead to the development of gout. So why does this disease exist and is quite widespread? The nature of gouty attacks may be related either to kidney dysfunction or to increased uric acid production. Often gout develops against the background of other musculoskeletal disorders. This happens due to their improper treatment. When a patient abuses painkillers and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, the kidneys may simply not withstand the load. All these medications reduce kidney function. Therefore, they should be used only when absolutely necessary and for as short a course as possible. In the case of prolonged use of such drugs by a person, kidney function may decrease to a critical level. Moreover, for a long time, no symptoms may occur, and when the disease is already detected, it will not be possible to restore kidney function. This is an extreme case that requires replacement therapy in the form of dialysis. But even if the blow to the kidneys is not so strong, any decrease in their function will lead to the accumulation of uric acid in the body, which will result in gout. Symptoms of the disease. The main symptom is pain, redness, and an increase in temperature in the joint. Most often, the disease first affects the joints of the big toes, but gradually it spreads to other joints of the lower extremities, and then to the joints of the hands. Over the years, as the disease progresses, uric acid begins to accumulate in the joints and under the skin, forming the so-called tophi. These are clusters of uric acid that can turn into abscesses. If the clusters are large enough, they need to be surgically removed. If this is not done, in the future, there may be a rupture of such a cluster and the entry of pus into the blood, which can lead to a fatal outcome. How to stop the development of gout? Official medicine offers drugs that reduce the level of uric acid, but they also have side effects in the form of a negative impact on the kidneys. We want to tell you about folk medicine recipes that will help remove uric acid. People who regularly use these recipes note their gentle effect without side effects and will start with the foods that fight gout. Five remedies for gout. The first product that will help in the fight against gout is cherries. It contains substances capable of lowering uric acid levels and suppressing inflammatory processes in the body, including the joints. For this, it is worth consuming 15 to 20 berries daily or drinking a glass of cherry juice. The second remedy is apple cider vinegar. It has many beneficial properties used in the treatment of stomach ailments and relieving headaches. But the main quality of such vinegar is the treatment of gout and arthritis. For this, a tablespoon of vinegar is diluted in a glass of water. A little honey is added and it is consumed once a day. The third product is the beloved banana. It contains a large amount of potassium. This mineral is necessary for the heart, but it also converts uric acid crystals into liquid, preventing their deposition in the joints and accelerating their excretion from the body. To effectively combat gout, it is necessary to consume at least two bananas daily. The fourth plant that prevents the development of gout is ginger. Its anti-inflammatory properties are well known. In the case of gout, its regular consumption helps reduce pain and swelling in the joints. For this, you need to squeeze the juice from several slices of ginger into a glass of water or mix a teaspoon of ground ginger in it. You should drink this mixture once a day. And finally, the fifth remedy is lemon juice. It is one of the best sources of vitamin C. It is an effective antioxidant that can neutralize uric acid relieving pain and inflammation in the joints. 
The juice of half a lemon should be squeezed into a glass of water. You should drink two glasses throughout the day, in the morning and in the evening. Additionally, you can add half a teaspoon of baking soda to this mixture. These products are not only effective for gout, but also do not have a negative impact on the body. Therefore, they can be used continuously, in combination with proper nutrition, which does not contain an excess of purines. According to Chinese doctors, these food products will rid you of gout. Besides food products, there are also time-tested folk remedies for this ailment. And we'll start with vegetable juice and baths with herbal decoction. Baths and juice for gout. Dealing with this ailment is best done through comprehensive measures. Internally, you should take a juice made from dill, parsley, celery, and lemon. All these plants contain substances that bind and remove acids, including uric acid. Moreover, they boost immunity and have a beneficial effect on kidney function. To prepare this juice, take small bunches of dill, parsley, and celery and chop them finely. Pour half a liter of hot water into a bowl with these herbs and cover the bowl tightly. Let this mixture steep for 20 minutes. After that, strain the infusion and add the freshly squeezed juice of one lemon. This juice should be consumed gradually throughout the day. In addition to directly cleansing the body, it also strengthens immunity. Locally, baths help with gout. To prepare them, take three tablespoons of dried marigold and chamomile. Mix these ingredients in a one liter jar and fill it to the top with boiling water. Cover with a lid and let it steep for half an hour. Pour warm water into a basin, comfortable for you to use. Add a hundred grams of salt and mix thoroughly. Pour the chamomile and marigold infusion into the basin. Stir and start soaking your feet. Keep your feet in this foot bath for 20 minutes. Repeat these procedures three times a week. This way, you can avoid sharp gout flare-ups. Another recipe recommended by the world-renowned doctor involves a comprehensive approach to the body. We want to share a recipe from the American doctor Josh Axe, who suggests using a complex of natural products instead of pharmaceutical drugs. This complex consists of three remedies, nettle, fish oil, and magnesium. Nettle tea is a powerful anti-inflammatory agent that can relieve not only joint inflammation but also similar processes in internal organs. That's why nettle has long been widely used in folk medicine. The only contraindication to its use is increased blood viscosity, since nettle can further thicken it. Fish oil complements the anti-inflammatory action of nettle. It may not work as powerfully, but lasts longer. This property of fish oil is explained by the presence of omega-3 fatty acids in its composition. Fish oil should be taken daily. In addition to preventing and treating gout, it activates many important processes in the body and boosts immunity. Magnesium plays a crucial role in this complex because while the previous remedies allow inflammation to be relieved and such effects to be consolidated, Magnesium, being an alkaline mineral, reduces the production of uric acid. Thus, by taking magnesium at least a couple of times a year for one month each, you can normalize the concentration of uric acid in the body. Combine these remedies, and you'll be able to forget about gout attacks. How Sunflower Root Treats Gout Another natural remedy for gout is sunflower. This plant is rich in polyphenols, flavonoids, and other antioxidants that can help fight inflammation and oxidative stress in the body. Therefore, sunflower root contributes to quickly alleviating gout attacks. Additionally, sunflower improves kidney and bladder function, thereby aiding in the faster removal of uric acid from the body. It is important to understand that while it reduces uric acid levels and even fights against its salt deposits in the joints, Sunflower does not have the ability to restore damaged cartilage. Therefore, in advanced cases of gout, relying solely on this remedy will not suffice. Sunflower root also helps in combating kidney stones. It can dissolve and expel them. This plant is also beneficial for inflammatory bladder conditions such as cystitis. How to use sunflower root? The first recipe is a tea made from this plant. 
To prepare it, thoroughly wash and clean fresh sunflower roots. You'll need 100 grams of roots for every one and a half liters of water. Chop the roots, pour boiling water over them, and boil for two minutes. Drink the entire volume of tea over three days, taking small portions throughout the day. Then, refill the pot with water and boil the roots again for seven minutes. After finishing this portion of tea, refill the pot with water again, but this time boil it for 15 minutes. Take this remedy for two weeks, and it will help eliminate uric acid from the body, including its deposits in the joints. When you notice that your urine has become clear, stop the treatment. The second recipe is a decoction made from sunflower root, which helps prevent gout. Thanks to this recipe, you can significantly reduce uric, cholesterol, and oxalic acids. Pass the clean sunflower root through a meat grinder. You'll need 100 grams of minced straw material. Then, pour a liter of water over it and boil for 10 minutes. Let the decoction cool slightly, strain it through cheesecloth, and take it throughout the day whenever you feel like drinking. The course of treatment is three months. The third remedy is an alcoholic tincture of sunflower root, which not only reduces uric acid levels, but also treats urolithiasis and cystitis. To prepare the tincture, fill a glass container halfway with chopped sunflower roots. Fill it to the top with vodka. Close the lid and infuse for two weeks. There's no need to strain this tincture. The beneficial substances from the roots will continue to be absorbed into it as you take the remedy, enhancing its effectiveness. Take one tablespoon of the tincture once a day, diluting it in half a glass of water. Additionally, the tincture can be rubbed onto the affected gouty joints. Rub one to two tablespoons of the tincture into the joint for 10 minutes, then wrap it with a warm cloth for one hour. During this time, do not strain the joint. The advantage of sunflower root is that it has no contraindications or side effects. The exception is the alcoholic tincture, which has standard limitations for alcohol-containing medicines. What are the benefits of decoction? In addition to consuming cherries and their juice, as we mentioned earlier, a decoction made from cherry twigs is recommended for gout. Firstly, addressing the issue of vitamin deficiency. It stimulates metabolic processes and normalizes the gastrointestinal tract's function. Secondly, it improves the elasticity of blood vessel walls and regulates blood pressure. The distinctive feature of cherry twig decoction is that it does not lower blood pressure but brings it to normal. So it acts quite gently and is used for various circulatory disorders. The third ability of this traditional remedy is to counteract inflammatory processes, including those in arthritis and gout. It alleviates joint pain flare-ups and restores their mobility. The fourth area of application is the treatment of various kidney and bladder conditions. Cherry twig decoction has a diuretic effect, cleansing the kidneys, improving liver function by stimulating its bile-producing function. With regular use, this decoction reduces fatigue, boosts endurance, and combats premature aging. But how to prepare and use it properly? For each condition, specific dosages and administration protocols must be followed. Stay tuned as we'll discuss all the nuances of using cherry twig decoction. How to prepare the decoction for a single dose of this medicine. You'll need four to five cherry twigs and half a liter of water. Wash and break the twigs into pieces about one centimeter in size. Pour water over them, bring to a boil, and simmer over low heat for 15 minutes. After that, cover the pot with a lid and let the decoction infuse for several hours. The readiness of the drink is indicated by its reddish-brown color and a scent with hints of almonds. Before consumption, you can add a little honey or cinnamon to it. This will give the decoction sweetness and additional flavor. It's important not to mix cherries with other medicinal herbs because their combined use may neutralize the healing properties of both ingredients. How to take the decoction in preventive doses. You can drink a cup of tea daily. This will help alleviate fatigue and boost immunity. For treating conditions, there are specific dosages. For joint pain and inflammation, arthritis, and gout. 
drink a quarter cup, no more than four times a day. The course of treatment is until joint condition improvement. The general rule is not to exceed the dosage. It's better to drink a smaller amount of decoction than to consume too much. Contraindications for using cherry twig decoction include children under the age of three, pregnancy, exacerbations of gastritis and stomach ulcers, as well as increased stomach acidity and any chronic conditions in their acute stage. To prepare the decoction, choose young cherry twigs about 10 centimeters long. They need to be dried in a well-ventilated room beforehand. Harmony of the body and physical exercise. Not only with herbs can and should gout be treated. Traditional Chinese medicine offers a method aimed at comprehensive health improvement. Chinese healers see the solution to health problems in managing the body's energy. To do this, it is necessary to regularly perform just one exercise. So let's get started. To perform this exercise, stand up. Slowly close your eyes and let your arms relax down along your torso. Then, with a calm movement, without jerking, lift one leg and stand like that for two to three minutes. You must not open your eyes during the exercise. This is the main condition for correctly performing this exercise. Its action lies in the fact that the eyes no longer participate in maintaining balance. In this case, the brain initiates an independent process of restoring the balance of internal organs. This leads to maintaining the balance of the entire body of the person. By standing on one leg with closed eyes, you influence the channels of six particularly important internal organs that run along the feet. This has a very beneficial effect on the organs. This exercise is aimed at treating such diseases as diabetes and gout, osteochondrosis, and radiculitis. It also helps with thyroid gland diseases. It is especially effective in case of disorders of the pituitary gland, hypothalamus, and cerebellum. It contributes to the treatment of Meniere's disease. It combats its manifestations such as ringing in the ears, sudden dizziness, hearing loss, and imbalance. Being in this pose helps to deal with the problem of constantly cold feet. Regularly performing the exercise will restore blood flow and your hands and feet will stop feeling cold all the time. People with a weak vestibular apparatus may have difficulty maintaining balance for a long time during the initial exercises, but there is no need to be scared and immediately stop doing it. Even if you can hold it for just five seconds, it's a very good result. Then, gradually increasing the time, you won't even notice how you can stand in this pose for minutes. In addition, Regular practice of this Chinese exercise strengthens the immune system, calms the nervous system, balances emotions, and boosts self-confidence and inner strength. So many diseases can be cured by such a simple exercise. Spending just 10 minutes a day, you will improve your health and emotional well-being. Agree, it's not that difficult. It's very important to remember the correct execution of this exercise, never opening your eyes. This will disrupt the internal focus, interrupt the relaxation process, and the body will stop the process of balancing internal organs. Consequently, there will be no effect. The main thing is to perform this exercise regularly, every day. As the Chinese wisdom says about the frequency of execution, it's better to spend 10 minutes every day than one hour once a week. By doing this exercise daily, you will keep your mind in shape until old age. So it's better not to postpone and start doing the exercise right now. After all, it's so pleasant to realize that you can maintain your health until deep old age. The main thing is to regularly engage in health practices, and then the miraculous effect will not keep you waiting. Dissolving uric acid crystals, myth or reality, among those who encounter gout, there's a popular myth that uric acid crystals cannot be dissolved. However, this is far from the truth. Let's delve into this issue and find out how you can actually deal with the crystals causing such pain. As with preventing gout, controlling what you eat plays a key role. There are also medications that can help reduce the level of uric acid in the blood, thus preventing the formation of new crystals or even helping to dissolve existing ones. Since the kidneys play a crucial role in removing uric acid from the body, as we've mentioned before, drinking plenty of water, 
and avoiding foods and drinks that can burden the kidneys, especially alcohol, is essential. Some people also find natural remedies effective, such as cherry extract or celery juice, in helping to dissolve uric acid crystals. Consuming about 200 grams of cherries or 240 milliliters of cherry juice per day can help reduce the level of uric acid and the risk of gout attacks. According to a study published in the Archives of Internal Medicine, vitamin C has a similar effect, and you can get enough of it by consuming citrus fruits or rose hip tea daily. And now, as promised at the beginning of the video, let's talk about an accessible way to combat gout attacks. Nettle an unexpected ally in the fight against arthritis and joint pain. Gout can be a real torment for your joints. But nature has given us an unexpected solution that many of us view as an annoying weed. And that's nettle. Despite its prickly reputation, these tiny needles of nettle release formic acid, similar to that in a bee sting, and a range of other beneficial compounds. All these components can have anti-inflammatory effects especially when applied externally. Besides, nettle is a real source of valuable substances. Calcium, vitamins, selenium, and many others. Some people use it in food, adding it to salads and soups. But for relieving joint pain, it's better to apply nettle externally. Despite the initial stinging, nettle can noticeably reduce inflammation and alleviate joint pain. Remember, gout is not a death sentence. With the right approach and consistent care for your health, you can lead a full life, enjoying every moment without pain.